going on guys, Kaivox here once again, and we're gonna be making a, another wand, adding to the wand collection that we have recently made. Um, if you guys didn't see the videos for these yet, make sure to check those out. They'll probably be over on the side or something like that, or just go to the channel and check that, check out, check them out, check them out. They were all kind of a, an, an adventure to get to where they are. Um, none of them actually ever started perfectly like this. I love this one right here, by the way. This is the most recent one that we've made. Um, this one's really cool too. I really like the, the finish on it, the color. This one's just a weird one. It has a gold um, inlay right there that actually looks really cool too. But anyway, let's move on to what we're gonna be making. This was uh, the wand we were gonna make. This is a, a simple design I, uh, I drew up and then I simply traced it. it a, just trace the outline because the rest is all gonna be kind of freehand and, and I actually came up with some a different idea that I hope everybody's gonna be excited about. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't really know how I'm gonna do it yet, but it, it, I'm, just, I'm just hoping it comes out good and I'm hoping you guys like it. And if you guys do end up liking this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for some more cool wand stuff and anything else that I feel like doing that I think is cool at the time. So let's get started with this. Like I said, I drew this up, traced it, and printed it out. This is roughly the size that it's gonna be, but the twist on this little guy. We're gonna be mixing some scrap pieces of wood that I have, um, and we're gonna be making that wand out of this. That's the plan right now. Maybe, maybe like this, maybe, maybe right there. I, I know, I know you ask, you, you may be asking right now, how, how, how are we going to, how are we going to do that? And what we're going to do, we're going to glue them together and we're going to tie them all together at the end. And again, I'm hoping that this comes out good. If this doesn't come out good, then I probably wouldn't have put out this video. So let's hope at the end, everything works out. So the first thing that we are gonna do is um, obviously we're gonna be cutting this out so that we could lay it on top of the pieces of wood and figure out exactly how we're gonna have to glue them so that we can get this general shape onto it. I don't know where my scissors are. My scissors. Let's just let's just get to 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 cutting to cutting this out. Let's just. Let's just do it. It doesn't have to be perfect because I kind of want it to be more of an organic look. I don't want it to look machined. So um, I, I, I'm just kind of, you know, doing it. This took about two minutes to trace in, um, in, on the computer. So, uh, you know, it didn't take very long. So therefore, uh, we don't have to go super crazy with it. it it's, again, this, this type of design I love because it's, it's kind of just free form almost where whatever kind of comes out, um, as long as you somewhat followed an idea, should come out good, which is, uh, which again is, is hopefully what is gonna happen with, with this little guy. Whenever I'm tracing a pattern or gluing a pattern to a piece of wood, um, I always tend to, when I go to cut it out, I, uh, I cut it out a little bit bigger because you can, you can always cut more away, but you can never, add more to, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. So here we go. We got the general quick little shape of the wand. Yeah, maybe I should change this camera angle a little bit so that we can uh, we can get a, a better shot of this. Let's uh, just take these little scraps of wood that I have here. I'm taking this, this flat is actually one of the flats from the uh, from when you originally I originally bought the piece of wood, so that's going to be nice right there. I'm gonna actually flip this guy over so that I have a flat on the opposite side, and then this right here is not perfectly straight. So what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be using this flat and this flat so that I can sandwich that and get a perfectly straight line between them. Um, but now I just have to figure out a way to lay this on there so that it actually fits. Maybe like that. I may need to cut another piece. So we're gonna tie some stuff right there, tie some stuff right there. That, see, that's too short. I don't like how this looks. So we're gonna get rid of this.
All right guys, so now that we have it all glued up and looking real sloppy, we're gonna have to go and cut this little sucker out. You can see that right here, I added this tiny little strip, um, kind of just, you know, throwing throwing some, uh, some weird colors in there. Hopefully it turns out good at the end. And now we're gonna go cut it and uh, then sand it down some to get it to the shape that we want it to be. Uh, so I'm gonna just cut out this general shape. Hopefully everything sticks together. I tried to not use too much glue um, for most of it, but let's see how that turns out. Um, and yeah, man, I got a lot of purple heart on here. This is gonna suck to have to grind and uh, sand down, but wish me luck and um, I will be seeing you guys very shortly. Okay, so this is where we're at right now and um, it's looking really rough and ugly and there's still a piece of paper stuck on this side, but it's coming along and I still have hopes for this coming out good. Look, look at how bad that looks. Look how sloppy and weird and crazy this looks. But I'm, I'm, I'm still, pretty, still pretty excited and I think it's gonna come out okay. I'm gonna just go back, I'm gonna sand the living crap out of it and um, hope that it sh comes and shapes into a somewhat decent looking wand-ish thing. I'm gonna go do that. Couple hours later, which is what it is now, um, I finally got it done. Did a clear, nice little clear matte coat on the top of it just to give it a nice little sheen. And I'm glad to say, it came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. And um, I, I'm just happy that it actually worked out. First time I tried to um, stick pieces of wood together to create another shape. So without further ado, here she is. Um, so she definitely has a uh, completely different look than the um, the rest of the my wands that I've made. Um, here's another purple heart one. So as you can see, it, it I kind of went for a, a more rugged, um, worn look. Let me explain the, the reasoning behind the, like the rope or whatever you want to call this. Um, the idea behind it is there's a piece where the wood, pieces of wood connect to each other. So it's basically like, it's almost like this is what's holding the whole wand together, right? So it kind of gives it that uh, rust, rustic look, maybe. You guys let me know what you guys think down below. After I had it cut to the to the basic thing, I went in with a sander, sanded it down some more. And then after that, I went in and uh, carved in all these patterns and kind of made it, I wanted this to look like it was a broken piece of wood at the end. Um, just kind of gave it some some little bit of character, a little bit of, uh, of uh, you know, just, so it doesn't look super smooth and super machined. Again, as I said at the beginning of the video, I wanted this wand to be more um, of an organic look, more of a natural look. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm glad that it came out okay. It's also nice and heavy because the most of the handle is actually uh, made out of Purple Heart. And like I said in previous videos, Purple Heart is extremely dense. So therefore, um, nice and heavy. And uh, I, I really like it and I'm, I'm super excited about it. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for any future wands. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some of the other wand videos. I have, like I said, wand videos for all three of these. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, see you guys next time. Bye, bye, bye.